Hey guys, my name is Brian, uh, last name is Moore, and uh, here in Sarasota I've lived in Paradise for 10 years, and uh, I've played the sport of disc golf, and uh, hope to see more people playing the sport, it's uh, pretty neat. I've lived here uh, a solid decade, and uh, when I first moved here I didn't even know the sport of disc golf had tournaments, so uh, it was a, a good introduction to the competitive side of disc golf. The game of disc golf is played very similar to traditional golf. Uh, there's a starting point, a tee pad, and the uh, cup, instead of a cup, a hole in the green, it's a basket that stands about four feet tall and, and chained. So the disc will actually come to rest in the basket. So it, it truly plays like golf. You have a tee shot. Wherever your disc comes to rest, you play your next shot. And you literally keep, keep count of your scores until you putt out, which means you putt the disc into the basket that comes to rest. So uh, most of the courses are 18 holes, similar to golf. And uh, it's really fun. Anybody can play. I got into the sport in Minnesota. I played uh, uh, very casual in the summer. I would literally play with one or two discs. And by the time the winter rolled around, I lost them and would get two new discs at the beginning of the summer. When I moved to Florida, I, I had no idea there were tournaments or pro professional level divisions. I had no idea that PDJ even existed. So uh, I met some of the Sky Pilots, the, the local organization here in Sarasota and they told me all about it. So I was, I was hooked. I played a tournament and I, I loved it. It was four rounds and I had never kept score for four rounds like that. So it was pretty exciting for me. The fundamentals of, of disc golf are similar in that the most challenging part of the game of disc golf is the short game, just like in golf. So it's getting up and down, it's saving par, and it's making putts. So uh, for me, I knew that right away that I would want to, and I, it was important that I practice my putting because that's one of the most important parts of the game. So I think that's probably my strong point is putting. So my weakest point in the game of disc golf would probably be uh, probably the, the distance shot, the power shot. You know, m m many of my throws uh, for, for power go maybe 400 feet, and the longest uh, players, they tend to throw five or 600 feet. And the world record of disc golf with the disc is 830 feet, so it's, it's amazing. Uh, so maybe that's my weak point is probably uh, distance. The best advice I've been given on disc golf actually came from a local gentleman. His name is Jeff Watson. He is a former world champion of the game of disc golf, and he, he lives right here in Sarasota. Uh, he's not as active anymore, but the tip he gave me was to, to stay smooth. And what I mean by that is, is really just remain smooth in all your actions. So it's uh, whether it's a tee shot, a drive, or uh, an approach, or mid-range, or a putt. It's uh, staying smooth and staying balanced, and anybody can have fun at the game if they try to stay smooth. I'm very lucky to have my dad, who has uh, now become an active player. He plays disc golf once or twice a week, and uh, for the last couple of years, he has been my caddy, and one of my good friends, who is also a pro-level player, he branded the name Kadaddy, and it stuck, so, so he's, um, he's a high-rated caddy, and he's also my daddy, so thus the Kadaddy. And it's great. I'm excited to see him play at the game of disc golf, and he's... The best way I can say it, he's putted for five years, but now he's playing disc golf. So, and he's uh, he's gotten really good. He's improved his game overall. He he has a good drive, a good good approach, and he's uh, definitely a recreational player. But he is a good player. I'm excited to tell you about my overseas trip. It's uh, my dad and I are going to be going to northern Europe, so Scandinavia, Finland, Sweden, and Norway, and we're going to be competing. I'll be competing at the European Open, which is the biggest tournament in Europe. It's a PDJ major. Uh, and it's, it's a four-day tournament, and it takes place in a small town outside of Helsinki, Finland. So uh, we're really excited to play a European tournament. I played last year the Swiss Open, and it was amazing to play with a group of players, and each one of our guys was from a different country. So it was very special to play an international tournament like that. The sport of disc golf really was founded in the 70s. Uh, the, the, to go back a step, the, the frisbee that we all know and love, the beach frisbee that we play catch with, was designed in 1954. And uh, it's great. It, you, the company Whammo, a lot of us are familiar with, that make toys, they, they actually made the frisbee. So they had the patent on it. And uh, it was a gentleman named Ed Hedrick in 1973, I believe. He designed a disc golf basket. And that's the target that we all know and, and use today. And so really the sport of disc golf took off at that moment because prior to that, people were throwing frisbees at a target. They were basically throwing it to a tree or a light post. So the sport really evolved when the basket was created because now it gave players, you know, the, the, the feeling of sinking a putt, literally, you know, making a putt into the chain. So, and that was in the 70s. The sport's grown rapidly ever since. And the, the biggest jump has been in the last five or 10 years. We've watched the number of courses double in, in the states alone. There's now more than 
2,800 courses in the U.S., and most are free to play. Uh, anybody can get involved with the sport of disc golf. It's uh, very uh, affordable. It's maybe one of the best benefits, in, in my view, is that it's uh, anybody can play. It's easy to get into, and also, uh, you don't have to be super athletic to be able to play. It's truly a sport for any anybody. Uh, the discs are affordable. They're anywhere from $7 to $15, and the courses throughout the U.S. are free to play. Uh, Florida alone has 70 courses, and I think 68 of them are free to play. So anybody can show up. It's a very uh, weekend-heavy sport. A lot of people come out on the weekends and play. And uh, we're seeing more and more families and kids play, too. So it's really, it's truly for all ages and all skill levels. All right, real quick, I want to show you guys a couple of the different kind of discs they make. They're definitely different than the normal Frisbee. Uh, the, the beach frisbee is bigger and you can catch it, it's easy to catch. These are not to catch, these are golf discs, so let me just show you the difference. Here's a putter, you can see it's kind of a rounded edge, it's pretty easy. It's perfectly round, they're easy to throw, and the putter tends to stay close to the basket and it, when it hits the chains it falls in. So that's a putter, that's your friend. Then we have a mid-range, so you can see it's a similar design, but a little bit, uh, a little bit wider. And similar idea, it's, it's, it's for control, so it's really a control shot. A lot of people call it the upshot or approach. So that's a mid-range disc. And then we have a driver. So there are lots of different kinds of drivers. Uh, the average player probably carries uh, a competitive player, say an advanced or a pro player, will carry anywhere from 10 to 20 discs in their bag. So it's a, a lot like a golf club. You have different clubs for different shots and different uh, angles on the, the wedge, different discs, same thing. So I have two different drivers. And you just see the really sharp edge, they're very fast, and uh, each one does a little different. So this one is a control driver, and this is my fast high-speed driver. And it is quite literally the, one of the fastest discs they make on the planet. And you can just see how, how narrow the edge is and how big the rim is. So that's it, that's a power grip, and that's the one I'm gonna throw as hard as I can. The future of disc golf is, is exciting. Uh, we've seen the rapid growth of the last few years. Uh, in part because of the number of courses that are going in the ground, so it's becoming more accessible to people, and I think that's important. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the the most successful models have a lot of entry-level nine-hole courses, and then several of the big 18-hole championship courses, and the, the most popular communities are a little bit bigger markets, like Tampa, Pinellas County has, I think, 10 disc golf courses, and uh, Charlotte, North Carolina is a good example. They'll be hosting the Pro Amateur World Championships in 2012. They will literally have 15 championship courses in, in the city limits of Charlotte. So it's pretty amazing. So the future of the sport really is, is, is growing the number of courses. And, uh, and with the growth, the recreational players come. So w they estimate already that there's several million people that play recreational. And then the, uh, for, I think for me personally, I, I definitely see um, growing a, a development side of the, the game, which is going to be a combination of promotion, but also like teaching kids and showing kids how to play. Uh, it, it, a lot of people learn the, the sport of disc golf from other people. It's one of the neatest things. There's not coaches for the most part. So I kind of see uh, a role for myself being, you know, one of the pioneers as a coach and, and helping players kind of fine tune their game. And then just the general masses, just helping them learn how to play, uh, play the game well. And it, it's, it's like most things. If you, if you get better at the game of disc golf, you're going to have more fun. So uh, it's, it's definitely exciting, the future of the sport. The one thing I would like to add, of course, is uh, I feel very fortunate to be sponsored by a company. I'm sponsored by Discraft. They are the worldwide leader of disc sports, and uh, they, they're most well known for the, the Ultra Star, which is the official disc of the Ultimate Frisbee Association, which is, uh, if anyone doesn't know the game Ultimate, it's a lot like soccer and football, but with a Frisbee, a full-size beach Frisbee. So, um, so I'm very lucky to be on the team. Uh, team Discraft, I've been on since 2007. So uh, it does mean I throw only Discraft discs, but uh, you know, there's a lot of great companies out there, but I, I do, uh, do feel very lucky to be on that team. So. Thank you, Discraft.